Today I want to share a super easy memory database you can build for yourself. So basically we're gonna leverage the OpenAI file store today to turn this into an MCP server and we can use this in any client that supports MCP. Uh, we're probably gonna use Cloud Code or Cursor. So we just put our files, conversations, we can upload that to the file store as an initial start or we can just use the MCP server to store our files in this vector file store after our conversations. We're gonna try both today. And when we have set everything up, I'm gonna test it out and I'll show you how easy this works. And it's easy to manage when we have kind of the, yeah, plug and play file store vector store database from OpenAI here. So let's just start by gathering some context or conversations we are gonna put into our uh, file store. So I'm just gonna take a conversation here that I just created for this test. So let's say you had a chat with, uh, yeah, chat GPT. <laughs> so you can just copy your conversation. You can just store this in, let's say conversation one. I really like to put a date on this if you're gonna separate them into text files. So we can reference that. So you can see, I'm just gonna paste my conversation in here. This is just for initial uh, setup because when we have Cloud Code uh, or Cursor up and running, we can store our conversations from there. Uh, we can grab a second conversation. So let's just go to my Gemini. I had some Path of Exile questions here. So I'm just gonna grab this conversation and we can go back to our cursor and save this with a new date in conversation two. That's fine for now, okay. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to head over to OpenAI, the documentation here. And uh, we want to go to the dashboard, right? We're going to find something called storage. And there's something called vector stores. And here, <coughs> sorry, we can create. So I just created this untitled vector store. Basically, you just press plus. Plus, en, to tre, en, to tre. So just press, en, to tre. So basically you just press the create button here and give it a name. So I'm gonna call it uh, my memory, en, to tre. So basically you just press create and give it a name, memory db, something like this, okay. And here now we can upload some files. So uh, I'm just gonna, add files down here. I'm gonna drag my files. So let's just reveal this in my finder and I'm gonna put them up here. So we have conversation one and two, right? And let's put them into our vector store for now. Uh, advanced options. Uh, I usually like to set my chunk size to thousand. Uh, I just, that's kind of my default and the overlap can be 500. So these are very small now, so we're probably gonna fetch everything, but in the future you might need uh, bigger chunks. Okay, so that is basically our uh, database created. We have this ID here that I will come back to soon because we need that. And next step now is of course gonna be to, when we have this now, we need to build our MCP server. And I would like to use uh, Google 2.5 uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro to help us build this today. So for that, I think we need some documentation. So uh, I prepared a docs uh, setup here. So let's grab some information about MCP servers. So we can go to the model context protocol .io. Here you find documentation for server developers. And they have this nice copy page. So we're just gonna copy all the context we need for developing a server. Store this here, 2000 lines almost. I just wanna check that we have set the examples to, okay, we are on Mac. And I want it to be on Mac, yeah, that's good. Because if you're on Windows, probably you should just go and set this to Windows before you copy the context. That's a good idea. Okay, so we have some context uh, to build MCP server, but we also need some context for the file store. Uh, file store.md, because we need to know how to create this. So uh, we're just gonna go to the documentation here on OpenAI. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna find something called file search. So this uses the responses API. 
Here I want to double check. I want to be on JavaScript today, not Python. So I just want to see that all the examples are given in JavaScript. That looks pretty good. Yes. So I'm going to copy this page, store this in my context. And I think basically that's all we need for now. Uh, we will need our ID, but uh, I'm going to show you that later. So let's go back to Gemini 2.5 Pro now and let's just um, give our uh, LLM here some context before we do our prompt like this. So I'm just going to come up with a prompt here now to start building out our MCP server here. Okay, so uh, the prompt I'm going to use, uh, I want to build an MCP server that uses Filestore from OpenAI to return results from my vector database based on the user's query. I want to bring the top five results into context. So we don't have so much information now, but if you have a lot, uh, we want to bring the top five results into context. That kind of matches the semantic search. The MCP server should have all tools like search, upload conversations, file, I want the server to have an index.ts and a types.ts in uh, slash as a source. I will connect the MCP server to cloud code in this case. So I will pass the API key from OpenAI, the vector store ID as an argument when I add the server to cloud code. Uh, let's create the MCP server for my memory file store. I'm going to put this temperature down a bit. So hopefully now Gemini 2.5 Pro can actually help us write this server and cloud code from uh, this directory just to test out the server. But you could of course set this to globally. Uh, I have a global server now running on Claude uh, that is the Gemini 2.5 model, I might show you that. So here you can see now we get some instructions. So we don't need to create a directory today, but we need to run this. So let's just go over here and just initialize this. Then we get our we need, to in, yeah, we need to initialize some dependencies too. So let's install those. Okay. Yeah, that went good. So let's create some directories here. Again, we can just go back here, do this. Perfect. And we have, uh, we need a uh, tsconfig JSON. So I'm not gonna skip this part now because last time I did, uh, I got a lot of questions tsconfig.json and just paste in this, okay? Uh, yeah, here's our package. So we're gonna just add to that. Uh, you can just do this with, uh, uh, add this with the tab, right? So now we're just gonna add this to our package. Okay, you can save, perfect. We can create a chat here if we need to. Okay, so now, we're gonna do types.ts. So let's go back to our source types. I just like to use types. Uh, we might need it later. So here is our index.ts. This is our server logic. So we're just gonna grab this code. Okay. Perfecto. Index.ts. Paste this in here. I can see we have some build errors. We almost every have all the time. But uh, we can just run this to get the errors. Uh, I just find it faster just to fix it with uh, an LLM. Uh, so we're just going to copy this error and paste it in here. Uh, fix. We can also just do fix this in cursor. That might be even faster. But let's just use Gemini 2.5 Pro for now. Okay, so my experience tells me that this should be it, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's just run it again. Okay, so we built this now. Perfect. And if we go to build here now, you can see we have this index.js. This is what we're going to use to connect to our server in Cloud Code. So uh, I'm just going to ask Gemini here now how to do that. Okay, so the build is done. Let's connect this server to Cloud Code with the API key as argument and the vector ID. So this is just going to be a simple, yeah, command we can just run in our terminal. So it suggests this, and this looks perfect. Okay, so for a path, we can just copy the path to this index here and just put this in here. Perfect. Uh, I'm just going to grab an OpenAI API key. I'm going to revoke this anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. 
And let's just put that key here. And you can see we need our vector store ID. So we can just go to our storage here. We can copy this ID here. And if you go back here now, just put this in here. And hopefully this command now will add this MCP server to cloud code. Uh, we can try that straight away. So let's open uh, yeah in our directory. And we're going to do this command. Okay. Cloud MCP list. And here you can see we have our Gemini uh, global store connected MCP server. So if you run this now and the MCP, you can see our memory store is connected. So that's a good sign. But we also have the worldwide, <laughs> the global uh, MCP server Gemini connected 2.5 Pro. But let's ask our memory store something now. Let's test this out. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I created like a simple conversation tree here. It just has April 12th, some information about AGI. So I want to see if we can upload this. So I have this conversation file uh, tree in my files. Can you upload this to my vector store, please? So now I want to see if we connect to the memory store and use the upload tool function to actually upload this to our vector store. That is quite important if we're going to store conversations. So yeah, here's the file. Uh, yes, successfully. Okay, that's good. So let's go back to our store now and refresh this. Perfect. So now you can see, I don't know if you saw that, uh, but now we have conversation tree in our vector store. Yes, that works. So now we can actually see if we can call up on the information too. So if you remember, we added some information about my HRR. So I did an HRR test a few days ago. Can you search up my memory? Uh, about this test. Okay, so you can see now we are searching for HRR test in our memory store. Yes, this is the tool used. So hopefully now we, we can turn, uh, we have very little information now, so we might return a lot, but we should find this here. So you can see we returned basically all our files, even the AGI file, because we set this to five. But let's see now, based on your memory, I found information about your heart rate recovery test you did, uh, 11th of April, perfect. Your heart rate was 38 speed, HRR was 38 beats per minute after in minute, yeah, perfect. And uh, now we can ask about this, uh, is that good, right? Now we're asking Claude 3.7, right? So yeah, you can see it's strong. Okay, so we got the answer here, but you get the point, right? So basically this memory bank is now working. We have the option to upload to this. And what is cool now is that we can, let's say I had a long conversation here now with Claude Code. Can you summarize our conversation and save it as conversation 4.tsx in our files? Uh, and you can upload that to the vector store. So now we're going to try to give a lot of information, right? We are first we're going to summarize this, then we're going to create the file. So now it's looking, listing for paths. We're gonna look at files, create this conversation.tsx. TSX. I didn't mean that. Uh, let's say I meant .txt. <laughs> Maybe I said that wrong, I couldn't remember. But let's change this to txt. Now we can create this in our files here, right? Hopefully, yes. Okay, so we created that. Next is gonna be to call up our memory store and save this into our vector store success so that is how you can store your conversation you have with cloud code in a very easy way and if we go back to our memory now and update this vector stores you should see conversation four down here now uh, okay so we call it mcp upload well that's fine doesn't matter too much the idea is that we got the information into our vector store and next time we use this, we can just call it up, right? Perfect. So yeah, I guess that was it for today. This was a very easy way to kind of connect your um, uh, yeah, client to your file store. An easy way to store memories using an MCP server instead of doing this. I guess you could have some other tools to do this, but I really enjoy MCP, so it's a super easy way to handle this. And I guess we could delete files too if we wanted. So, hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for tuning in. Have a great day, and we speak probably tomorrow.